So I got this little camera so I can record some of the behind the scenes. The footage you're watching is actually from this little camera, which is the, I believe it's the go-to. I'm a South Florida filmmaker and I just want to record some of the behind the scenes probably to remember in the future all the jobs that I've done and probably help out some of the people that are starting out in this business and how much it takes to even get started. You know, I'm out here today actually getting ready Miami for a big job that we had. Me and my buddy, that's my wife, my son, just born, trying to keep balance in life uh, between work and everything. So for this job that we have, I actually have to travel to Miami the night before because it's gonna be early morning and traffic in Miami is horrible. So I'm gonna be my buddy Lennox. Um, he's actually the director of the shoot. He's the one that got the job. And um, one of the things that I always tell filmmakers is from the beginning, always try to make network with the people that do the same job. Don't look at people as competition, more like uh, another person that actually, you know what I mean, can help you out and make great relationships because just as they help you, you could probably help them too. Me and him already have like a system every time. We try to drive together. We can talk business, talk about cameras, you know nerd out a little bit and just you know trying to make it fun so we created this system and it was interesting because it came all organically and we get to work together and you know tackle these bigger jobs one of the things about filmmaker that actually people don't understand is that you're going to be traveling a lot so understanding if you don't like traveling it's going to be uh, pretty tough for you, but if you're into traveling and you're into looking at new places, definitely. And of course, when you get into a hotel, actually taking all your cameras out, all your gear, that's very important because you never know. You always got to be careful. You spend a lot of money on this gear and understanding to keep your gear safe, <laughs> you know, without getting stolen is very important. You know, a lot of people are like, wait, I'm starting now, how do I get jobs? It That is a very tough question. No matter how good you are, if nobody knows how good you are, you're never gonna get one job. So being introverted in this business is actually, you know, gonna hurt you in the long run, you know, unless you have a lot of connect. One of the benefits of us staying in Miami was in the morning, we got a little bit of time so we can get some breakfast, you know, maybe talk about the shoot, the things that we have to get done to the, that same day without having to hurry, being a heavy traffic, especially in your, if you're one of the big cities. One of the things I noticed about this style of production, which is like interview, polish interviews, is that you're gonna spend so much more time actually just getting to the place and setting up and, um, and trying to do it safely. As you see here, you know, we didn't have the production car yet, so as I mentioned earlier, now we do. And um, just trying to be polite with the people, you know. Sometimes you just, this is the first time you meet them. And um, personality goes a long way. Be friendly, especially if people are not used to being in front of cameras. You know, you are the person that's going to make them feel more comfortable. You know, there's going to be some scenarios. This is the first time for some of these people in front of cameras. Another thing as a filmmaker, you become an audio man, you know, audio engineer. Uh, some of these modern productions are, they're limited on their budget, so you gotta become an expert at all the angles. Um, their deities, I forget which specific deity is, but if you wanna find out, just, you know, contact me, I'll let you know which ones they are. They're pretty good. They have lasted a long time. Lennox actually chose a chair this kind of like the prettiest angle we got. So we're gonna boom mic just for backup and we're gonna have actually the deities on him. So we're gonna be mic the subject. It's pretty interesting because when you're micing people up, you're gonna have to be in their personal space. So I always tell people, you know, ask the person before you jump in front of them and like try to get in their shirt. I always look at these videos back and I'll see what I could have done better that day. So definitely, for future experiences. So we wrapped up, the shoot went well, and uh, you know, we had to pack up everything and get everything back to the car. 
and yeah that's kind of the process of like recording some of these polished interviews is you know what i mean understanding your equipment their limitations and you know getting back to palm beach was a nightmare because it was like pouring out but yeah we we did a great job me and lennox feel comfortable with the job that we did and it's interesting because uh, we've done multiple of these jobs and they've been pretty successful because you know when preparation meets opportunity it's kind of like where you want to be at it's so much practice we've done and so much studying we've done in so many years of dedication so now it kind of shows when we're in in the in the actual action so all right guys so this is the video and um, i'm going to try to make some of these videos more often and try to connect with you guys if you guys have any questions shoot me a message dm me on instagram you know and i'll see you on the next one